This is my compressed earth block press. Um, right here, the guys at Davis Machine helped me build this. Just had a had a ball doing it. I'm going to take you around and uh, just show you a few things that I've learned and, and uh, show you some of the solutions that I've come up with. Um, right behind it, you see the pile of dirt. The soil <laughs> here in my side of the county is very sandy. And uh, it's, it's close, but it actually, um, it's so sandy, it makes good blocks. The only thing is just taking them off of the machine. They tend to break. Um, and so it makes it really hard. You can see the difference in uh, some of the sandy blocks down there at the bottom, those light colored blocks. And then, of course, the, the more red clay blocks from this soil is just uh, from about 10 miles away. 10 miles makes a pretty big difference here where we are. Well, I'll show you my, my solenoid valve assembly. Um, uh, being what it is, it, uh, this is uh, from Surplus Center. This is actually the valve from Surplus Center and the valve block that's rated about 10 gallons per minute. It's not rated at the higher um, gallons per minute that some of the larger valves are. But these are this is a little bit smaller. Sol solenoids are a little bit smaller, um, but for what I'm doing, 10 gallons a minute is going to be plenty for me. I've got the three-quarter return hose. And I've got the half inch supply hose to it, and um, I've I've just the electronics. I've just um, put up kind of temporarily for now until I put the until I put put the covers on them. This is just to kind of make sure everything works, and so I've been playing with it and that kind of thing. And of course, you can see that I've got a I've got the gauge right there that I put on it, and also you can see the the pressure sensor right there, and. Um, actually in line I'll show you in line with the pressure sensor in series um, what I'm trying out right now is I've connected these um, contact switches these are just just regular limit switches about two or three dollars from bigmaster.com you can see one on this side also this is because since I'm using the mixer instead of the shaker uh, th there tends to be some pressure spikes when you when you're turning this dirt you can see inside the mixer right there so instead of just a shaker that mixer takes um, a little bit more pressure and so um, I was running into some problems had to put those limit switches on there to to be able to bump up the pressure sensor a little bit more so it's not affected by those little spikes in pressure and um, everything else is, is pretty much uh, the way it is. What I've done over here is I, d I did a lot of thinking about the, the plumbing diagram for the secondary cylinder. So what I've got, you can see, of course, this, this is just the way I did it. I mean, it's the right way to do it. But this is, um, this is the control valve right here, just a pressure compensating control valve. You can see the knob un up under it, there where you, you do the pressure. And I've also um, got another pressure relief valve right here on this side of it. Um, and that is because I'm running my, com my, my main cylinder, the, the primary cylinder, at a little bit higher pressure. I'm running, of course, from anywhere from 2,000 to 3,000 PSI for the main cylinder. But I'm only running about 750 to 1,000 PSI for the secondary cylinder and that's just because it just doesn't it it hardly needs uh, 200 PSI to move that drawer back and forth the way I've got it set right now and of course if it gets a larger rock in there if it doesn't break it off it just stops the machine so you can dig it out um, so that's the main parts of the hydraulic system